So the next video in this series is the scatter on mesh tool. This allows the user to essentially scatter meshes onto a particular mesh. So in this video, we'll just be blocking a bit of the border of the scene up. So let's drag in our BP scatter on mesh. And as you can see, we have a basic mesh to begin with and the scattering is on the top part of the mesh. So we'll just wanna swap this out for something a bit more detailed. So let's go for this snowy hill. And as you can see, the meshes have updated to the high poly one. Then we'll want to head over to PCG mesh set and start putting in some high poly assets. As you can see, the scaling is a bit off here. So we'll go and fix that in the PCG graph. So let's reduce the density and yeah, already that's looking a lot better, but the scale is a bit big, so let's reduce that. I think I'm happy with that now. And let's get some smaller looking trees here to create a bit more variation. In this particular scene, as it's quite snowy, we probably don't want as much grass, so let's reduce that. The next thing we'll do is clone the scatter on mesh blueprint. So to do that, simply click the blueprint and you can just duplicate that or you can hold Alt with the move tool and that'll create a new system. And this tool is really powerful. So it can help you block out a scene really fast. And as it is procedural, each uh, variation you create will be unique. So in a later video, we'll show how this tool can be really powerful for blocking out a scene with lots of detail in a really short amount of time. So obviously you don't want the same assembly everywhere. So let's just create a new one. So we've just dragged a fresh one in and we'll swap the main mesh for a separate one to the previous. And we'll go for these fallen logs. So obviously we've got bushes and trees spawning on this and we, we don't really want that for this particular asset. So let's just start by getting rid of the trees, getting rid of our rocks and getting rid of our bushes. And we'll then go ahead and just swap the grass for the high poly one. And the, the point of this is basically showing, you know, you could have moss, for example, on these logs. You could have grass, you could use it as ivy hanging off a fallen tree. The, the possibilities are really endless. It's really down to what the user uses for assets and the settings that they can adjust. And that's it for this system. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next part.